except the Lord build the house. They labor and drain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Psalms 127 and 1. Good morning, everyone. This is Brother Oscar York with another episode of Chatting from the Word YouTube. We are so delighted to bring you this program this morning. We hope that we have been an aid in your Christian walk along this Christian journey. We hope that you've been watching us here at Chatting from the Word and and growing closer with the Lord and learning His words and His ways much more clearer. Uh, I am so delighted to come on uh, this morning. We hope and pray that all had a good weekend and that all had a chance to worship the Lord on yesterday, being His day. And we hope that many of you have uh, enjoyed worshiping him. And we hope that many of you are so delighted that the Lord has given us another day to see. I mean, this is one of God's grand benefits that he uh, woke us up this morning to see a day that none of us have uh, never witnessed before. Some of us, we take it for granted that the Lord just, just have to allow us to see a day like this, another day. And once you think about it, many, many did not see this day. Many slept and never woke up. So if you are alive today and breathing and able to see the sunrise, the Lord has given you another benefit uh, that only He can give. So we need to be thanking God every day, every time He gives us a chance to raise, to open our eyes, and to see another, another day. You know, in this program, when I first began this program, we began it on the fact that uh, try to teach others about the truth of God's Word, knowing that many are not in the body of Christ, many are not teaching what thus says the Lord knowing that many are not sticking with the word. And, 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 and you know what, my, my viewers, many are, are teaching so much false teaching. They are so believable and so uh, credited that a lot of us are believing the things that they are teaching. And I'm basically basically talking about those who are in the body of Christ. Uh, because it's the things that we are, are listening to and the things that we're doing and the things that we are believing. So being that this is going to be my last show, if our numbers don't pick up, I decided just to lay it all on the line today because I truly believe that we need to start teaching truth. And many today are not teaching truth. And I have said so many times that if you disagree with Brother Oscar at any time and with whatever he's teaching, you have the opportunity to challenge whatever he says. But at the same time, have book 
chapter and verse to prove your point to show brother Oscar that he's wrong and you're right because I truly believe that we are here to help and to teach one another you know the question come up and I think it was Cain's am I my brother's keeper in so many ways we are this is why God created us to help one another to, to help one another that, that is why we are here. And if we have the spirit of Jesus Christ, we will do that and even more. And this is the reason why I have uh, brought the Chatting from the Word YouTube on the air so that I can teach and show others the gospel truth. And I believe the reason why many believe in the false teaching that is going on not just in the body of Christ but in the world is because we are getting these teachers who have doctorate degrees and it's nothing wrong with that don't 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 don't, don't uh, leave by thinking brother Oscar is saying something is wrong with I, I'm not saying that because I believe that uh, you need to know God's word and if uh, 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 schooling is helping you as a teacher and as a minister or as an elder or as a deacon to proclaim God's word better, that's a whole different thing. But if your schooling has caused you to, to veer off from what the word of God says, you need to think twice. And many are listening to teachers who call themselves doctors. And I'm talking about in the religious world when the Bible tells us we are all brethren. No, no, no one is better than the other. And we are getting stuck on the fact that they are doctors and believe, are using the title doctor and believe what they're teaching is in the word of God. Instead of searching the word of God for ourselves. And this is the reason why Brother Oscar brought this show on in, on the airways any way, anyhow, you got Brother Oscar talk. And I love the gospel. I love Jesus Christ. I, I really do. But before we go further, we want to have a word of, word of prayer. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for the many blessings that you've given us, for waking us up. Allowing us to see this day, allowing us to have the benefits and blessings of that come with this day. Father, we thank you for your son Jesus who bled and died on Calvary's mountain that we through him may have salvation. Father, we come praying for our list for those that are viewing this program. We hope that they are viewing it and listening and learning your ways and your word much more clearer much more better that they are uh walking learning to walk closer with you and having a good relationship with you and father we come praying for uh our those of you in the show we pray for that you be with them through their struggles through the hard times and through uh things that they are having problems with father if it's health we ask it be your will to heal their bodies, to restore their strength. If it's sin in their lives, Father, we pray that you help them to come out their sin and to live for you. Father, if it's family, we pray that they learn what family is all about. And Father, we pray for this program, Chatting from the Word. We pray, Father, that you help us to keep on chatting from your word and about your word and for we ask that you be with our hearts and the message that we have in our heart this morning and we pray father that the listeners will listen that those that are listening and seeing this program may listen with open hearts and open minds in jesus name do we pray amen and amen we hope and 
pray that we have said something that will help you and that will guide you further into the truth. And we pray, we thank you, first of all, for praying with uh, Brother Oscar this morning. And we hope and pray that we have said something to help you along your Christian uh, journey. And as I said, this might probably be our last show if our ratings, if our numbers don't go up. By next Monday, be our last show that's coming on, and but we will still be coming on, uh, uh, chatting from the word to Blog Talk Radio um, with my co-host Chris Edwards. Chris Edwards is doing a fine job, and we hope and pray that you are enjoying that program today. Chris Edwards won't be with us; he is visiting friends, and he will be back on Thursday. You just have me. <laughs> and I just hope you, you listen in and enjoy uh, the program that we have for your listening uh, ears today. All right. And uh, we're coming on at 2 this, our time here in Ohio and 11 o'clock in, uh, uh, in uh, California. So we hope that you, uh, Listen to the program, enjoy the program, and learn the lessons that we're bringing forth. We, uh, Chris Edwards, when he come back in town, he's going to be talking about instrumental music again. He's doing a good job bringing that lesson, and we hope that you all are enjoying, number one, and learning uh, the uh, Word of God. Um... As you've been watching me for quite some time, you know we've been asking for sponsors. We we need sponsors to help us bring this show to the air more effectively. We need things to help us to bring chatting from the word on the air and to keep it going. And you all who've been encouraged by this show and Blog Talk Radio, if we don't, if we still be coming on, if our numbers pick up here on YouTube, if you've been enjoying it, help us out. We don't ask for much, a dollar, two dollars, ten dollars, whatever your finances can bear to help us out on a monthly basis, that would be uh, sufficient. And if you want to get one-time donation, you're welcome also uh, to uh, do do that. Um. And churches, you can help us out too. If you've been watching our program and your members have really been enjoying our program, won't you put us in your budget for 2019? We we need help here uh, financially, and if you want to help us, uh, you can do that. I do have a PayPal account. You can go to my PayPal account and put in any amount you want. To put in our account, PayPal account, Oscar York. And uh, if you wanted to, to to talk with me more, I'm always on Facebook. You can inbox me on Facebook and leave a line or two, and I will get back with you. Or you can e email me at Oscar York at three four four three at gmail dot com. Or you can visit my uh, web page. We do have a web page, OscarYorkPublishing.com. And while you're there, I do have a bookstore. I have authored two books: A Peaceful Place in the Storms, God is in Control, which sells for twenty-one fifty, and Bridges of Friendship, which also sell for twenty-one fifty. And if you want to purchase both books, both books are forty-three. Dollars and the proceeds will go towards chatting from the word to keep it on uh, the air. And uh, you know, my motto when you read, you get knowledge, and with knowledge comes power. It pays to know how to read, my friend. We got to read uh, if you want to get close to God, read his Bible. Many of us don't don't read his Bible, but that's the way God communicates with us. And the way we communicate with him is through his word. So read. 
You learn when you read. You learn when you comprehend. You learn. So read. Don't 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 give yourself excuses when when judgment day comes and say, God, I didn't know. Or if you learn to read, you'll know for yourself. You won't have to you won't need to listen to these false teachings that's going on in the body of Christ today. So uh read and, and donate to Chatting from the Word uh, on uh, on YouTube and through Blog Talk Radio. As I said again, we will come on at two today. Uh, chatting from the Word through Blog Talk Radio. We hope that you're listening in, and we hope that you find us uh, in, that 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 we are encouraging you during your day. Because sometimes. We all need encouraging during the day uh, to keep on uh, this track, keep on this journey as a Christian. Because sometimes the world sometimes gives us a hard time to to live for the Lord. I'm just being honest with you. We need programs like this one to keep us encouraged to keep us going, to keep us living for the Lord. So support us here. Support us here at Chatting from the Word, and we hope that you're watching. As I said on this program here through YouTube, our numbers are low. So we want you to start watching. Those you you all who subscribe to the show, I know the show is coming to you. Watch it. Cousins, watch it. Aunts, watch it. Uncles, watch this show so that if you're not in the body of Christ, you can learn something if you are in the denominational world. And as I just said, if you disagree with me, contact me. I'm not a book of bear where you can't uh, uh, communicate with. Or you think I'm going to cut your throat or something, Brother Oscar? It's not like that. He's a Christian. And he tried to be uh, 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 living for the Lord as the Lord wants him to live. And if I'm wrong about some issues, we can discuss it. But as I said, and I continue to say this, have book, chapter, and verse of what you want to discuss. Because I believe that we should be helping one another to, to get to heaven and to go to heaven. And like I said, this is the reason why I brought this program on, because I recognize as many, as many out there that are lost, that are caught up in the denominational world. Family, listen to the show. I know many of you are not in the body of Christ. Get in the body of Christ. Get in it, because... One day is going to be too late. One day at Judgment Day, you stand before God's throne, and he's going to tell you, depart from me, and I never knew you. Isn't it better to follow the word of God and to know you on your way to heaven? And this is all what Brother Oscar is saying. He's not trying to talk bad about anyone. I love you all. My desire is to see all go to heaven and, and have a life with Jesus Christ through all eternity. Truth be said, we all got a day uh, to reckon with. We're all going to die one day. So why not live for the Lord and make it right? And many of you might be saying, well, Brother Oscar, how do we know we, you're right? At least... You can go by God's word. In it every time we, we, uh, I'm doing a lesson, what's the main thing I tell you? Go grab your Bibles to see what I'm saying is contained in the word of God. And you see it is because I'm reading the word of God. I'm not adding, not taking away from it. But many today are doing that. Even much in the body of Christ, we want to... Instead of calling ourselves the body of Christ, we want to add to it, don't we? But I'm here to tell you, those of you who are, who are believing that you can add an adjective to the body of Christ and say, see, I'm in the body of Christ. 
How can you be the church of Christ when you're saying you're adding to it? You can't be a church of Christ adding. Because Revelation said you said not add to it and take away from the word of God. You, you can't do that and claim to be a member of the body of Christ. You must stick with the doctrine of Christ as the doctrine says to do. And Brother Oscar cannot make it no plainer than that. And you all that is in the denomination of the world, the Bible tells us to be one in him and only one in the body of Christ. And this is what I want to discuss. I know that we have been discussing instrumental music, but since we're going to be discussing that on Thursday and have been discussing it a little bit last Monday, and if we stay on the air next Monday, we'll get right back to it. But I want to plead with you today to continue on watching YouTube chatting from the word because our numbers is low and the only reason why i begin this work is to help those to get to know jesus christ for themselves so if i can plead with you to watch this program because i truly believe that this program is doing you all who's not in the body some good and you that are in the body i believe it's doing you some good too to stay in the body and to do what's right but before i finish i, I want you to know that if, if we don't come on anymore you all that live in the in the uh uh Miamisburg area, Dayton area, and the surrounding area, if we're going to start a new work here in the city. Because I truly believe we need the body of Christ. We need the body of Christ here in Dayton, Ohio, where churches are closing this door, churching are teaching. The Church of Christ in this area has started teaching false doctrine, and we need teachers that's going to teach the truth. And Brother Oscar needs help beginning this work. He's not what he used to be. Okay? So anyone that's interested in helping Brother York to start this new work, get in contact with me. I'm on Facebook. My email is OscarYork3443 at gmail.com And like I said, I'm not a booger, but if you want to work with Brother Oscar and starting this new work, you're welcome to do that. Okay? Um, on this morning, we like I said, I want you trying to convince you to keep on uh, looking at this program here and to stay in the Lord. Uh, we I want you to turn with Brother Oscar to uh, Ephesians 4. Because here, the Apostle Paul was talking about unity. And many today do not want, want to stick with unity. And today, the way we stick with unity is go by completely by what the Word of God says. Reason why there's so much division today is because many do not want to be in obedience to God's Word. They want to do what they want to do instead of doing it the way Christ and his apostle says to do it. And that's a part of humility. It's learning how to do a crisis way, even when you're wrong. Admitting that you're wrong and you need to change. Many of us do not want to change. Many of us do not want to admit that we're wrong. Many of us want to stick with our, our divisional ways. Many of us want to stick with our stubbornness. Many want to stick uh, with, with things that we're teaching, especially when we are wrong. 
All right, doctor, so-and-so. All right, reverend, so-and-so. All right, father, so-and-so. These terms by itself is not in the word of God. When the word of God itself is telling us we are brethren. All right, all right, reverend. Dr. So-and-so. And this is what Brother Oscar is talking about. And in, in Ephesians 4, and beginning with verse 1, Paul said, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Here, the apostle Paul is saying, I beg you, I plead with you. I am on my knees begging you. And, and, and Paul said, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Here, Paul, Paul said, I'm begging you in the loneliness and meekness to love one another, to keep endeavoring, to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. He said, I'm going way out to beg you. Don't leave the word of God. Stay in the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Now Paul said, that is one body. It's no way of getting around that, my friend. When Christ died on the cross, he didn't die for the Baptist church. He didn't die for the Catholic church. He didn't die for the Lutheran church. He didn't die for the Church of Christ, we want to change their names every time you turn around. He died so that we, as lost people, can be saved in his body. And that's a fact. And here Paul said, this is only one body. Paul, you must say, is Christ divided? Christ isn't divided. Christ is one. And here, and here Paul says that is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who's above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Here Paul said we should be unified and not divided. And many of you brothers who's teaching the use of instrumental music, you need to stop that and teach what the Bible says teach. Those of you who believe in beat bopping and bringing the world into the church house, into our gathering, you need to stop that and teach the truth of the word. And if you teach the truth of the word, you will be in unity of the bond of peace. We're going to end it there. We hope that I've said enough today to make you think, to make you keep on watching our program. Because I truly believe that we're doing some good here. All right? We're going we're gonna to leave it here. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, we join in heaven. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for blessing us to see it. We thank you for this program. Father, we pray for those that are viewing this program. We pray, Father that we have said something to cause them to think about their soul salvation. We pray for that all have a good day. In Jesus' name do we pray.
Amen and amen. Now, don't forget to watch us, listen to me at, at 2 o'clock today. We're going to uh, play some music to put a, <laughs> you know, Oscar like to say, put a snap in your Christian walk, okay? So watch us today. And uh, like I said, uh, Brother Chris Edwards would not be with us today. Uh, he would be back Thursday. He would be solely missed. I told him, if y'all listen to the program Friday, and when he informed me, I, I told him, y'all gonna miss him today. <laughs> he just gonna have me. So, <laughs> I just hope y'all enjoy Brother Oscar today. And as always, it was nice chatting with you today from chatting from the Word. Goodbye. We hope all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.